Yup, welcome back, Dukes and Duke at City Ed TV. I'm your man, Ed D. Ed, back at you with another reaction, man. We got a news report, man. This is from Law and Crime Network. Right now, this video has has a kidnapped woman. This is not funny, actually. A kidnapped woman chained to the floor in Kentucky, home of the fried chicken. Okay, Ch chained in Kentucky. She's crying. And let's hop straight into it. I saw a little bit of it, but I said, hey, let me jump on here, get a reaction to it. Unbelievable video shows the rescue of a woman held captive, discovered Ooh. with a collar around her neck, chained to the floor. <laughs> First of all, that room looks ugly. That room looks, looks so mad, but I mean, it seemed to me like the person just using it for a stash house. Like, like just, let, let's just have a spot where we can make these type of activities happen. So it's not really supposed to be a clean house. It looks like, or or from 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 what I'm thinking about, like if you were doing that to somebody, you ain't worried about if the house clean. You just need a spot. So that, I mean, that's why I look gross. But yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> Officers found her on the second floor of the home after discovering the entire first floor had been barricaded. Oh, Officers gosh. in Louisville, Kentucky made Crazy. the terrifying discovery on August 16th. Yo, the whole, the whole, oh man, I hope I didn't mess the mic. The whole perimeter of the house looks so junky. Bro, you can, touching the door is, 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 you gotta put on gloves. You gotta put on, look, like, look at the door, bro. Look at the wall outside. This is gross. Yo, hire, hire the cleaning crew, man. City's south side. At about 7 o'clock that evening, a call came in from concerned neighbors reporting a woman screaming. Body camera video shows officers arrive on the scene. That is crazy. You know, how, you know how scary it is to know that somebody's being held captive like a kidnapping in your own neighborhood? That is crazy. What would y'all do if, if, if that was the case for you guys? Like, What would y'all do? in response to hearing somebody screaming for help inside a house for a long period of time in your neighborhood. I'm probably calling the cops as well, man. Like after after a little while, like if I, if, if I know this, this is not... Cause you know a lot of pranks happen these days, so you never know who's play, playing around, but after a while, I might be like, okay, this this is this don't sound like a joke or, or a prank. This might be an actual thing, so let me call the cops just to check it out because I'm not going to go check it out. I will not. Go, this is not a movie. Guys, don't be going around checking people's houses because somebody's screaming. Think you're going to go in there and bust in like my loving Batman. Because, hey, this is real. You know? It's only, it's only take one bullet. Early on, officials realized... <laughs> notice, hey, notice the, the black cop was like, hey, man, the door right here. <laughs> bust it open real quick. He didn't go in first. He didn't go in first. Hey yo, yeah, yeah. We hey, listen. It's been too many times where he's been watching the movies. Okay, he's been watching the movie. Let's go ahead and watch. I'm talking too much. The entire first floor is barricaded. Huh? Wait, is he black too? Doors and windows. One of us got to go first. Put the door down. Yeah. I got to watch the movie. But there is a second floor window open after the woman chained inside, 37-year-old Jonna Wilson kicked out a window and began screaming. <laughs> Officers use a ladder found on the side of the home to reach Wilson. We see a ladder. I got a ladder. A ladder. At the top of the ladder, officers find Wilson crying with a chain collar and padlock around her neck. Immediately, they ask about the suspect. Is anybody else in there? Yeah. Yeah. Is he Hispanic? The suspect was later identified as 36-year-old Moses Oh, Bain. Lord. Shang Tsung. Yo, they caught Shang Tsung, dog. Wow. They caught Shang Tsung. He's been kidnapping people. And Shang Tsung is Asian. And this guy is Mexican. Listen, he look like Shane Soon to me. Man, <laughs> bro. Wow. This guy, yeah, yeah, he look rough. He he definitely in he definitely in some stuff. Like look at him, bro. 
Hey. <laughs> estranged boyfriend and father to her child. Oh. Okay, so she was, she was with him. So she didn't, I mean, she kind of is getting kidnapped, but it's not one of them, like, pick you up, pick up a random person off the street kidnapped. This is, like, y'all having issues, and she's trying to leave, and he's trying to make her stay. This is what I'm thinking, you know? She later told police he asked her to come over to clean the house. That's when he chained her up. She was there for about five hours before being rescued. Video shows officers follow the chain from Wilson's neck to a bolt in the floor. Officials use a hatchet to break her free. But there's no one else in here, right? No, you can once she's safely removed from the home, officials use hedge clippers to remove the chain from Wilson's neck. <laughs> Multiple L LMPD units worked tirelessly on this case. Two days later, the alleged suspect was taken into custody. <laughs> Kind of May was taken into custody two days later. He now faces multiple charges, including kidnapping, wanton endangerment, and assault. He's pleaded not guilty to all charges and is due back in court on Monday. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie. She lucky. She's only, she was only there for five hours. We'll, we'll know what he was going to get because if he if he left her there for about five hours, he was planning something. Maybe he went to work. We could have just went to work. You know. Maybe just chain you up so you don't go to work while I go to work. Come back and I take care of you later. Or he could have been out there looking for all his tools that he needed to do what he was trying to do. Uh, what was he trying to do? We have no idea, man. But hey, drop your thoughts in the comments about this case. If you have seen this, if you have any other uh, cases you want me to look at or, or, or body cam footage or any news, man, drop it down in the comments with the link, preferably, so I can find exactly which one you're talking about. And let's get it rocking. Let's keep it popping. It's Eddie Ed. TV base.